Hi everyone and welcome to NIT's Home Workout with me David Reedy and in conjunction with all our local media partners. And just a quick introduction to what we're doing, we're going to be running a, a three week fitness program which will be delivering three, ex, or three different workouts over the week. We'll be releasing them Monday, Wednesday and Friday at lunchtime. And these workouts will be quick, short and snappy, they'll be no more than 25 minutes long so between 20 and 25 minutes at the, at the most. And the workouts will be a range of different exercises including a, a full body workout, upper body, lower body and a hip workout. And the workout we're going to do today will be a full body strength program. Again, our, all, our, all our exercises and our programs are for everyone in the family. They're for young, old, really fit people, people who just want to do something small to get to get back into the swing of things. It's for absolutely everyone. We'll be talking through each exercise uh, and telling you the do's and don'ts. So just we we'll go straight into today's workout. As I said, it's the full body workout. And um, the, the, the structure of the workout will be a 30 second break between each exercise, and we'll be we'll be doing each exercise for 22 seconds. If this sounds a small bit complicated or difficult, don't worry, I'll be talking throughout talking throughout the, 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 the video. So to start we go straight into our warm up. Again full body, we, we warm up the full body. So we just step off the mat onto our toes. On our toes and we get them hands going as well. Just nice and slow pace, doesn't have to be anything hectic. And we go backwards with the hands, try to bring up them toes or the knees a small bit higher. Excellent. And we kick our bones standing in the spot. Let them heels flick up. And then we do a few plyometric movements and then a few stretches. Again, the plyometric movements is just getting them muscles firing. So just on our toes and we're going to jump in jacks. So we all know jumping jacks. Let's move on. Well done. Okay, we might go into the mat. Do a few stretches. So on our one knee, third leg straight, flat, flat out and try and touch the toe. It doesn't matter if you're only touching your shin, you get that flexibility um, through stretching. So if you touch the toe, excellent. Okay, put the foot back, back down 90 degrees with your knee and just lean forward. Again, you feel the stretch on your, on your hip flexor here. And we stretch that hamstring one more time. So leg straight and let's touch the floor or touch the toe, and we switch sides, again touch the toe, and out we go, that's excellent, and touch the toe one more time, we go on our feet, stretch the quads, so we lift up the leg, don't worry about the balance, if you need something just hold on to the wall, again try and keep that steady, and switch legs. So basically we're just bringing up that heel, touching that bum, and that's good. Well done. Uh, so we just stretch the open body, so right hand across the chest, left forearm, pushing that hand a small bit, small bit further, and just reach over your right shoulder with your neck. You'll feel it along here, along the tricep, one of the biggest muscles in your upper body and we switch sides. So left hand across the chest, right hand up and stretch again. We stretch the triceps again. So right hand over the head, reaching down your back and left hand, just keep that, that right hand a small push just on, on the elbow and switch. So same thing, left hand stretching down the body and right hand pushing that down a small bit further. We go back onto our mat, just if, so on all fours, just to fire up, fire up our glutes, so just kick it back up. You can leave that leg bent, doesn't matter, and you're just kicking back up. Well done, and switch sides. So right side now, and four, one more, five. Excellent. So I get that time we're going again. Our first exercise, we're going 30 seconds, so you don't have to go 
here is the push-up. Hands underneath the chest and up you get. Up you get. Our back is going to be straight to our bone. We don't want our, our, our bone bent down and we don't want our bone bent up. If that's too difficult, we're on our knees, hands underneath the chest again, and down we go, and up. Down and up. I advise you all, if you could, start off with the, the bigger push-ups on our feet. We're all going, so let's go. And when that gets too difficult, push down onto your knees. But let's keep going for them full 22 seconds. That's excellent work. And keep pushing now, it's getting tough now. Push onto your knees if you have to, but try and keep pushing it out. Rest. And rest. Our next exercise is dead bugs. So we're on our, on our back, knees up in the air, 90 degrees, hands up in the air. Don't forget your 20 second rest, or 30 second rest, but we're going left hand and right leg. Right hand and left leg. So we do that again, left hand and right leg. Full stretch out. Right hand and left leg. Let's move up into what? Let's exercise. Left hand, right leg. Right hand, left leg. And alternative. We're not touching the ground when we're stretching out. And that's excellent work. You'll feel that in our core here. That's where we're supposed to be feeling it. It's hard when our legs are flat. Rest. And take a break. That exercise is quite hard. But don't worry about it, you'll get used to it for the second round. Next exercise is squats, going down and up. So a couple of points here, when we're going down, we don't want our knees coming in like this. We want them going out if anything, out if anything. And our back, we want it as straight as possible. Looking directly in front of you, chest, nice big chest. So out we go. So again, we're doing this for 22 seconds. Let's go. Push, two. Again, knees going outwards if anything. We don't want them buckling in underneath us. And chest out, looking straight ahead of us. Back as straight as possible. We don't want to be bent over. That's not good. We want to be straight as possible. Yes. And take a break. Our next exercise is the triceps. So get up onto a couch or a table if you have a by nearby. The easier option is feet 90 degrees going down when you're touching your bone off the ground. And the harder option, feet stretched out and going down. Again, we'll be going in five seconds, but if you can do the harder option, do so and switch back into the easier option. Let's get going. We're working for the full 22 seconds. That's good work. If you're on the harder option, keep pushing that out. Hands will get, start getting being tired, that's okay. Switch on to the easier option if you need to, only if you need to though. That's good work, and rest. Our next exercise is the slide ups. It's like a sit up. Right, so you're lying on your back, just so sure from side angle, head down, and you're sliding your hands up to the tops of your knees, and back down. Tops of the knees, and back down. So we're going now in a few seconds when you hear the timer. I'm going to show you this from this side. Again, hands down on your knees, exercise. off your knees, and with exercise. Up to the top of your knees and back down. Up to the top of your knees and back down. We're doing this for 22 seconds, so keep pushing this on. It's going to get tough, but you feel it on the core. You're, you're working your core big time here. And just up to slide up to the tops of the knees. Rest. And rest. That's good go on. Our next exercise is our calf raises. So again, you don't need the mat. Basically just onto the top of your toes. When you hit the top of your toes, just stay up there for that split second and back down. That's the beginner version. The harder one is just on one on one leg. So using my left leg, and I just you want to use my right leg for a bit of balance. And a halfway I call it, and you can switch sides. So I'm going to start off my right side. One, two. If you're doing two legs, great. Just keep pushing that on. You'll feel that in the back of your calves. 
switch to one leg, the opposite leg if you're doing only one leg calf raises. That's good going. That's excellent work. Nearly there now. And rest. So our next exercise is the walkouts. Again, we're standing and we're walking out with our hands. Try and keep them feet as straight as possible until our hands are over our shoulders. And if, you, if that's easy, keep walking out another bit and then walk back in. Back up and back down. Walk out over your shoulders and keep going. Exercise. Right, so we're all exercising. Let's go. Up and walk out to this position and then try and go a bit further if you can and walk back in. And up. And let's go for one more walk at least. Again, and walk out the extra bit and back up your bit. Press, take your work, 20 or 30 seconds off. We'll be going into the plank. That's great work so far. So the plank, two options. You're on your, you're on your elbows and your forearms. Your bum wants to be in a straight line. We don't want the bum up. We don't want the bum down, arching the back. Straight line. If that's too difficult, on your knees, feet kind of up in the air, still on your, on your elbows and your forearms. So let's go exercise everyone for 22 seconds. That's excellent work. Keep going. Again, I would highly recommend staying on the more advanced and then pushing back onto the beginner version if, when it gets too difficult. If it gets too difficult for somebody. Rest. That's excellent and take your break. Our next exercise of the cycle is the high jump. So again, we're squatting down and jumping up high. Squatting down and jumping up. Try and touch the head off that roof. If that's too severe on your knees, again, just do normal squats, like we did before. Again, when we're doing the squat jump, down, we don't want the knees coming in, and up. Exercise. Right, so everyone exercise. How many can we get? That's good, go on, keep pushing yourself. Excellent work. As I said, if that's too severe on your knees, just do the arm squats. This is the last, the last exercise of this cycle. Rest. And that's excellent work. You've just over a minute of a break. Get your bottle of water, take your break, you deserve it. That's one full cycle done. Um, probably less than five minutes. Great work. Again, that was probably a very fast pace getting through each exercise. Don't worry about the timer. Recovery. It's just as we've learned 50 seconds to go. But as I was saying, very fast pace through each exercise, especially if you didn't know um, how to do it the next exercise. So in round two, it's going to be a lot easier. You're going to know the do's and don'ts on the exercise, and which you can follow a bit easier. So again, we have 30 seconds before we're starting. Take another drink. Again, I'll explain between each exercise what exercise is coming up next and how to do it. Press up again. Again. Exercise. Let's go. If that's too difficult, remember on our knee. So you're on your knees if it's too difficult, but try and do as many as you can of these normal ones. Again, our back is tr trying to be in a straight line. We don't want the bum up or the bum down. That's not good, good posture. So keep going with that. That's good going, nearly there. Rest. And rest. We're on to our dead bugs now. So once again, I'll just show you again. You're on your back. You're going left leg and right hand at the same time. Try and get that coordination from the start. And then left leg, or left hand and right leg. So it's the opposites are going together. You have another couple of seconds before we start. So take it. Get ready. Let's go. We're exercising. Full 22 seconds now. Don't let the leg or hand touch the ground behind you. 
just a couple of centimeters off the ground. That's good going. Well done. And switch again. Rest. And take your recovery. You're going back up onto your feet. But we don't need to remember we're going squats. So again, there's take a rest, but keep watching the screen. Down we go and up. We don't want the knees coming in, going down. If anything, they're going out a small bit. And in our back, we don't want the back bending over. We want to keep the back straight as possible. We're going five seconds. And let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, that's good going. Keep that wood up, that, that pressure up, that speed, speed up. Try and keep up with the tempo. You start feeling the burn on your quads, your glutes. Yes. Well done, take a breath. That burn is good. Next is our triceps. Again, get onto that couch or get onto the, the coffee table if it's one. The beginner version. Uh, Legs 90 degrees, going down and touching the butt, or nearly touching your bum off the floor. The more advanced, feet straight out, and same thing. I hope you can start off in the more advanced. When that gets too difficult, go on pushing the feet into the beginner version. Let's go, exercise. Let's go going. It'll be really sore in the backs of the arms, but it's just showing that the, the muscles are working. Again, if that's too difficult, go into them, put them uh, knees at 90 degrees, and continue on. Exercise for the full 22 seconds, and take your break. So after the triceps, go on to our backs on the ground, and doing our slide ups. So same thing as we did the first time, legs bent, back under the ground, slide up, touch the knees, and back down. Slide up, touch the knees, and back down. So you have another couple of seconds of rest, working for the full 22 seconds, and we go, we, we take another rest in. Exercise. Okay, let's go, exercise. Slide up, back down, up, back down. Well done. Let's go, go on. Savage work. You, you're nearly are halfway there on the, on the workout. More than halfway. That's good work. Just keep sliding up to the tops of your knees. Rest. And take a break. That's good work. So going back into our calf raises. Again, just up to the tops of your, tops of your toes and back down. Try and hold that for a split second. If you're doing one legged, so I'm working my left leg, my right leg is only there for balance. And down. And down. And again, I tell you when to switch. If you're, doing, if you're only doing one leg. If you're doing two legs, you're going two legs the whole way through this 22 seconds. Exercise. Left leg going, so first let's exercise. That's good going. Well done. And down. And switch sides. So left leg, if you're only doing one leg, if you're doing two legs, keep working them two legs, calf raises. And down. Three, two, rest. and rest. That's good work. So we're doing back into our walkouts. Again, your walkouts, starting uh, on your feet, try and keep them legs straight, as straight as possible. Walk out with your hands to under your shoulders. If you get that far, see can you walk out that or a couple of couple of yards or so and back in and back up. One. So we have another couple of seconds before we won. Let's push that on for, for that full 22 seconds. Let's go on. And that's my shoulders, and see if can go a that big bit further. I'm back in, I'm back up, and let's go again. That's good work. I'm back out, and up. That's good one. Can we get one more in? And take your break. That's good work. So we're going on to our planks. So again, down on your on your knees. Again, one version is on your knees, feet crossed, and on your elbows and forearms. Looking straight ahead of you. Keep that, that back in a straight line. We don't want to be arching back all the way. Keep it in a straight line. 
If that's too easy, let's see if we start on our, on our feet. Again, back in a straight line. We don't want to see this, or we don't want to see this. Straight line. So, hopefully we can hold this. Plank position for the full 22 seconds. Again, if it gets too easy, or if it gets too hard, drop onto your knees and keep holding it. Don't forget, it's only 22 seconds of proper work. Rest. And take that breath. That's plank done. Last exercise of the cycle. Let's push it in with 20 seconds before we start. It's the, the high jumps. So squat down and jump up. Simple as, if it's too severe on your knees, that landing, just do normal squats. Keep that posture that we talked about in the last round. Um, but 22 seconds of work and we'll get her over a minute of a break. So we've gone, let's go. Hand up, hand up, hand up. It's the last exercise before we take a break and we're going to do one more round. Keep pushing that hand. If it's too severe on your knees, as I said, just do normal squats. Keep that same posture, don't let them knees come in. And we're nearly there. That's three, two, one. Good work again. Grab another drink of water. And we'll be going to our final round of our final cycle. And there are five, just over five minutes of work and we're done. Okay, we have still a minute off. So take your time, take that recovery, take that drink of water, get that breathing going again. Don't worry about the timer. So he tells me another 50 seconds to go. Again, all our exercises, they'd be all body weight exercises, things you can do at home or in the backyard. You don't need no equipment for it. It's all simple things that we can do from home. We have another 30 seconds off, and we're going to do that one more time. So can you, can you push down for that one more minute? We're going at 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds on. Again, our first exercise is the press ups. Ten seconds on. Going into that push up. So again, starting here and down we go. If that's too difficult on your knees and go down. Let's exercise so. Again, if you can try and start off with the full push up, and if that gets too difficult, push down onto your knees. I'm only working this our last round, so keep that pressure up. It's going to be sore, but keep it going. That's good going. Yes. And breath. Staying on the ground so with our dead bugs. You all know, if, and now you all have the hang of it. So, on your back, hands and feet in the air, feet in 90 degrees. Left leg with right hand and back up. Right hand, or right leg, with left hand and back up. Take that couple of seconds, we still have a little bit of recovery time before we get going. Excellent. Let's start. It's important to start on the timer and finish on the timer. Don't be started at, don't start after it. And back up. Left leg, right hand, and opposites. And just keep switching. That's good going. Nearly there, rest. and rest. Excellent work. So after our day books, going into our squats. We all know this by now. So let's push on, it's our last round of exercises. We're nearly there. So we're going 15 seconds, down and up. Remember, keep that back straight. Them knees, don't let them come in. Let, let them go out if anything, just a small bit out and back up. We're going in two, one, let's go. And up we get. Let's go go on. Keep pushing that on now. You'll start, it's most, your body must be starting to feel sore now. But that's normal, it's okay. Just keep going. Again, this is for anyone that can do this. Get the whole family to do it. Nearly there. Rest. And rest. Excellent work. So now we're going back into our triceps. Get over beside that couch. Again, the beginning version. Legs 90 degrees. Uh, your bum nearly touching the floor. 
Can we all try and start with the more advanced? If it gets too difficult, bring them feet into 90 degrees. We're going in six seconds, so let's keep pushing that on. Feet out, and down and up. Push that on for 22 seconds now, it's not going to be easy, but you're nearly there. Sweat's coming out real. Good workout. Nearly there now, so keep going. How long can you keep going with them? Full, full triceps. And up you get. Take that break. Well done. Back onto the ground. And now slide ups. Similar to the sit ups. Back on the ground. Slide your hands up to the tops of your knees and back down. Up to the top of your knees and back down. It's important to take that recovery time um, just to get that breath back. And we'll be going in a couple of seconds. So back on the ground. Exercise. Let's go. Slide up to the tops of the knees and back down. Up to the tops of the knees and back down. Well done. Nearly there now. Very near the end. I want full effort for it. The, all the 22 seconds that's left. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. Excellent work. Back up onto the feet zone. Back up doing them calf raises. Similarly to before, if you're doing two feet, excellent. Up and down. Up and down. If you're only doing one foot, use the other foot for balance. So up and down. Up, balance, down. Again, uh, I'll call that switch if you're only doing one foot. Again, really feel it here in the backs of your calves. Let's go, so work, right foot first for me. If you're doing two feet, excellent, keep going. Full 22 seconds I want to see. And down, and up, and down. And you're switching sides. If you're doing one foot, one foot calf, right, oh, nearly lost the balance, and up, and down, and up. And down, nearly there now. And take that recovery time. That's excellent work. So back onto the mat, we're doing our walkouts. So again, feet, feet, uh, try and keep them legs straight. Hands walking out, up to this presser position. See, can we go that small bit further if you can? And back up. And that's one done. So we're going five seconds, I think. So let's see how many we can get. Can we beat our last two scores? And go. 22 seconds. And full walkout. And back up. One. And walkout. And back up. And up. Walk out. And walk out for me. And back up. Last one. Well done. Take your recovery time. Nearly there. We have two exercises left. The plank is the second last one. Then we have our squat jump. So plank on our feet, elbows underneath our shoulders, on, the, on, the, on your forearms, feet shoulder width apart, and just keep up. If that's too difficult, on your knees, same thing, your back straight, we don't want it arching back lower or upper. Can we all start off with the more difficult ones? Let's go. More, most difficult ones, if that gets too difficult after a couple of seconds, push onto your knees. You have to be able to push yourself. Well done. And you're nearly there. Just think, there's one more exercise before we're finished. And three, two, one. Take that recovery time. Last exercise, high jump. Again, squat, or squat jump. Squatting down and jumping up. As I said, if it's too severe in them knees, just do, do the first one again, just them normal squats. But great work. We have 22 seconds of work left. Let's push that on. <coughs> again, all exercises can be done at home or in the backyard. Let's go. Down and go and up. Down and up. Down and up. Nearly there now. We have 10 seconds left. Last 10 seconds. Push yourself on for the last 10 seconds. We're nearly done, we're done the full workout then. Well done. Three, two, and last one. Excellent work. Take the full 
take a drink, fully done, work out for today, fully done, and just going to turn that off. That's the workout fully done, excellent work. So as I said, you can see, tough going even for me, but everyone can do it. There's nothing too difficult there, it's just going to test your own body and mental strength. Um, you will be out of breath, you will find it tough, but that's where exercise is. Um, as I said, you can view all these exercises and the whole workouts on all our social media channels, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also our social media channels of our local media partners. Um, one final thing, if you want to take pictures or videos of yourself doing the or following our workout, send them into them so the LIT social media channels to be in the chance of winning loads of social or LIT merchandise including sportswear, quarter zip tops, ground necks, and um, all, all loads of gear, loads of LIT merchandise. Just send everything in you have. And give yourself a round of applause. Well done, good work. Thank <laughs> you.